Hi! I thought I'd show how to shape the muzzle for this little puppy. I've made two of these so far. As you can see the muzzle folds up on itself and shapes a nice mouth line. So this is what the piece looks like when it's done. Um, let's sew it together. So first thing to do is to take a little bit of stuffing, not too much or the shape won't fold up as nice. I'm going to scrunch it right into the middle. Then fold it in there, kind of like a little dumpling, up to where the increases for the mouth start. So you'll see there's increases going up there. And pin it in place if that makes it easier. Shh, parakeets are being very noisy. Oh yeah, we have parakeets, I love them. So it's like this. Oh, oops, caught my thread there. So I left a very long yarn tail on this one, but it might be easier just to cut some new yarn and do it with that. But I quite like doing it with the same yarn. So this seam won't be able to see it when the toy is finished, so it doesn't actually have to be very neat. It just has to hold in the stuffing and keep the shape. So I'm going to go around and just stitch this in. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to shape the mouth. And this is the bit that will give the smile around the eyes because you can see how it turns up here because of the increases in the corner. Um, of course, I have done this before in just um, waste yarn if you don't want to do it with the right yarn straight away, so you could always do that. See if it works, undo it, pull it apart, start again with the sewing, and that's absolutely fine. Whatever works. So I've done this corner, and now I'm just gonna weave this yarn back to the middle because I don't want to cut it. But of course, it can be cut, nothing will happen if it is. It's just how I like to do it. So I don't usually use pins, um, I kind of just go with the flow and see where the piece wants to be. Like with all handmade things it's going to be different every time anyway, which gives them their own personality so that's actually quite a nice thing, at least I think so. So again, holding this corner and then just, it's gone off thing there, sewing it up bit by bit. I've not done a muzzle this way before, but I think it gives a very interesting look. I particularly like that the mouth is not sewn on with embroidery, but is actually a part of the crochet. Um, I guess it's just what I like doing 
um, you might remember I did similar thing in my chameleon where his mouth is sewn on at the end Okay, so that's the first bit done. This will be the turned up nose. So next, this bit makes the mouse. So what you do is you fold it right over as far as it will go. The further it goes, the more obvious the mouse will be. And again, if you want to, you can pin it in place or just go with it and sew it in. Um, guess it depends how confident you are with sewing. I'm usually okay, so I just wing it. So for this bit, I think it looks best if you can see this top edge of the piece. And that's what creates the mouth. So I'm going to just pick up the loops behind. And this time you have to be a little bit neater because this will be seen. I just keep holding it down and stitching it. And then pick up the next loop. This is just the middle loop of the stitch. So I guess you can say it's the back post or... Gosh, those birds are noisy. Um... One of the things that could happen with a very long tail, it can start to tangle and split. I think that happens because it unravels and starts to not be plied anymore. So it becomes more prone to tangling. Which can be a bit frustrating, but with a bit of patience, just work through it. Sometimes I'll twist it again, just so the thread holds together a bit more. I like working with the windows open so you can hear all the garden things. We get quite a lot of birds around here. They're very fun to listen to. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. I might fast forward this if I can figure out how to edit videos, which... Can't be that hard. I don't normally hold things quite so far apart from my eyes because my eyesight is not the best. So usually I kind of end up hugging things to my chest when I work. It just looks really funny. But it will be a very strange angle to film indeed. So you can see it already, it starts to make a little mouse. A smiley face. carry on until it's all done. I like to check what it looks like now and then so you can adjust it, like turn the corners up more but again once you sew that to the head it will look more like a muzzle and then once the nose is on it will really look like a puppy. I 
quite like sewing. I know a lot of people prefer things that don't get with less assembly, but I think it's the detail that makes the toy more interesting. I'm waffling a little bit. That's it. One muzzle done. So then this gets sewn onto the head, framing the eyes, and that creates a smile. Oof. Bye.